that girl doing now? I hope you're able to hear me okay. It's a little bit loud today. Sorry about that. As I said before, you never know what I'm going to put on here. So go ahead and click the subscribe button now. That way you won't miss my next video. So we've lived in this house for almost 16 years. And we were hearing this scratching on the ceiling in our bedroom. And we thought it was just some chipmunks or something up there in the attic. Then one night we were sitting out on our patio. And I saw these things flying around. And I thought, honey, that looks like a bat. So I looked to where I thought it came from. And sure enough, it was coming out of our attic. I couldn't believe it. So we got the name of a local company that does bat removal. And they came out and confirmed that we did have bats. Today we have the guys from AMS removing some bats from our attic. Yay! Please pardon the sunglasses as these are transitional lenses and it's really bright out here today. Be sure to stay tuned to the end. Believe it or not, I've got some bonus information for you. In Indiana, it's illegal to kill bats. You actually have to have a permit because they are a protected animal. Um, and we didn't want to kill the bats anyway. We just don't want them living in our house, of course. Um, so when he came to give us a quote, I actually showed him a video that I had of the bats flying out and he confirmed that we do have the large Indiana brown bats. Well, we don't know how long the bats have been here. We just know that when we moved in, there was a bell tower on top of the garage and it had a bat house on it. So we don't know if the previous owners were trying to draw bats to the area to eat the mosquitoes or if they knew there were bats in the attic and they were trying to draw them out into that bat house on the bell tower, we don't know. But either way, we've got to get them out. At night, when all the adults would fly out, I would shine a flashlight up into the peak right there and I could still see little ones up in there. So we couldn't do anything until August because that's when the babies are able to fly. Came back and put a one-way door up in there. It's actually just a tube, which I'm gonna show you a picture of. And we had to leave that in there for a while to give everybody a chance to get out. And uh, so today they're back taking that one-way door out. And they put in this piece of metal that goes up in there like this. Um, so the bats can't get back up in there. Because once they get out, they will try to find other places within the house to try to get in. And if you... So one of the things they do is they go through and they seal anything that even has just a minute gap in it because with a bat, if you can stick your finger in there, they can get in there. So you want to seal all that up. They sealed all around every window and everywhere the soffit meets the brick, there's a uh, caulking along there. I have a video of the guy taking that tube out and putting that piece of metal in, so I'll show you that. This guy is going inside to get started on cleaning out the old insulation and the guano. As you can see, he's picking up trash bags and that's what he's going to put the rolled insulation in that we have. Up in the attic, we have two different types of insulation. We've got some that's in these tube-like things that wrapped in plastic and then we also have some blown insulation. So the wrapping up the um, tubed insulation into garbage bags and dropping them out the window and then they're going to suck it up the blown insulation through that hose on the roof. There they are, throwing it out the window. There's one critter not afraid of them. Pretty brave. You can see the hose going in the roof vent up there. They're sucking it out right now. And that's how the flow in the new insulation as well.
you that wasn't all the bags. There's some more. After they get all the dirty and old insulation out, then they will blow, they will clean it, disinfect it, seal it, and then they will blow new insulation back into the attic. So now they're getting ready to disinfect and this is what they're gonna spray with. All right, so I'm gonna have our guy explain what they're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using Bacazat, which is like a microbial that attacks uh, any other bacteria and eats it. And then the shellac seals and makes it so you can't smell it and just it's no longer there. Great, thank you so much. This picture is after he has completed the antimicrobial spray and the shellac. The white stuff you see is the shellac and he said that will dry clear. So he wanted to get a picture while it was still white to show it to us. And this is the insulation they're using. There goes the new insulation. He's putting it in that machine. It's going down that tube. Bonus information time. So every now and then we were seeing these little bugs upstairs in our master bathroom. And I researched the bug and I discovered that they were, it was called an earwig. There's over a thousand species of earwigs. Well, once I discovered we had bats, I researched that bug again and found out that one of the species of earwigs feeds off of bat guano. And the amazing thing is, is that once the bats left, we haven't seen any more of those bugs in our bathroom. And I mentioned this to the, uh, the bat people, and he said there's also this thing called bat fleas. And he said that's usually what he sees. He has never seen these earwigs before. And um, I asked him if we could ever see those fleas in our place, and he said if we haven't seen them yet, we probably will never see them. So we probably didn't get the fleas. And I asked him what these fleas look like and he said they just look like a normal flea. And this treatment that they've done between the cleaning, the deodorizing, disinfectant and sealing and all that, that we shouldn't see that. Yay! <laughs> Be sure to stay tuned to the end because I've added an extra bonus video for you where I videotape their final flight from our attic. It's kind of fun to watch. We did ask the gentleman here, what happens to these bats? Where do they go? And he says a lot of times they end up having to go to the neighbor's house because the bats have moved over there. Sorry, neighbors. We have this same configuration on the other side of the house. So if you have this type of construction on your house, you may want to inspect that and make sure that you don't have bats in your attic. And let me tell you, it isn't cheap. $3,600, but well worth it because I don't want to do it. My husband doesn't want to do it. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss my next new and exciting video I have coming out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See if you can count the bats as they fly out and see how many you count. I'll let you know what I counted at the end of the video. Just want to let you know this was about a 30 minute video. So I did cut out some of the dead spots so you can just see where the bats are flying around. They did do something different this night that they hadn't done before. It was after they flew out of the tube, they actually flew back up to the house to check out what was going on. They knew something was different. They didn't know what it was and they were checking it out. So watch them do that activity. Fun. And I don't know exactly how many bats we had as it was getting dark and hard to see. So we just turned it off. Well, how many bats did you count? I counted 10. Thanks for watching. See you next time.